Hi everybody, um, welcome to my channel, um, uh, or if you've been here before, welcome back. Um, I'm Capped and I haven't done any bump update in a couple of weeks, I think. Um, might be more than that, but um, yeah, I thought I'd do a bump update. Um, so, symptoms haven't really been that different. Um, uh, I've had more reflux. Uh, uh, oh, the Braxton Hicks started about 27 weeks and the, was it Sunday? Yeah, so like six days ago. Um, they kind of got quite bad and progressed into what seemed like early labour. Um, I was essentially contracting every like four minutes for about th 30 to 40 seconds at a time. Um, and I was saying to Matt if they got longer. Yes, sweetie? Oh, wow, it's not actually raining, she's, I don't know, <laughs> um, but I was saying to Matt, if it, like, got, if the contractions got longer, then, um, I'd have to call the hospital, and, um, because obviously then it would be, um, like, early labour, like, I'm 29 weeks today, so, yeah, it's very early, um, luckily, um, around 11 o'clock at night, so, like, five hours after they started, it just stopped, um, without any explanation, really, um, but, yeah, so that's, <laughs> just hoping that that doesn't happen again, basically. Um, but I mean, the stuff that I was doing that day, like just generally going about my business and taking care of Heather, it's stuff that I can't exactly just stop doing because Matt still has to work, I still have to look after Heather. Our lives can't stop and I don't see any way around that stuff really like it still has to get done um i mean we did go to the park but that's not really that unusual like it's just a park <laughs> um like it's not like we haven't been there before anyway so yeah braxton hicks possible early labor um reflux um uh, I thought that my breasts were leaking, but I don't know. I don't know, maybe it was just sweat. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I thought they were leaking because, like, at the time they were quite tender. And, um, I thought the, like, I thought that just the nipple was wet, but I don't know. Anyway, that's a bit TMI. Um... I don't really know what what else I've done. Um, oh, I had my um, anti-D injection because I'm A negative, which means that my blood could basically make antibodies towards any um, future babies. So when I was pregnant with Heather, I had to have it as well, um, which means that if Lily's a, pos a positive blood type, she's protected from any blood mixing that may have happened during labour with Heather, which is probably a lot to be fair because of having a C-section. Um, so, um, I mean, we're not planning to have any more kids, so it's kind of re redundant, but you never know. You get surprises, don't you? I mean, Heather was a surprise. Um, I call her the best surprise I ever got. Um, uh, but yeah. Um, we've got everything together for Lily, really. Um, all the clothes that she needs immediately are, like, washed and dried and put away. Um, 
I've started getting the hospital bag actually packed which is mental because I'm not even 30 weeks yet let alone like 35 which is I think when they recommend doing it but because I've been collecting stuff for it I've just been putting them in there like when her clothes were washed and dried I thought um before I put them all away I might as well pick out outfits that I wanted to wear in the hospital and stuff um so I put those in the bag um and a towel, a baby towel, was washed and dried, so I put that in there. My old maternity um, dressing gown. Um, I think I threw it on at some point to open the door for a parcel, and then I got something on it, so that was washed and consequently dried, so that's gone in. Um, yeah, basically just put stuff in there. Obviously it needs to be reorganised and stuff because um, when I get the maternity nighties off my um, sister I'll have to put them in. So yeah. Anyway, um, I need to attend child so I'll show you my bump. Here we are. That's 29 weeks. Right. Quite solid, um, yeah, quite a beefy bump, but um, yeah, it's really solid. She likes to wake me up at night, she likes to um, pester Heather while she's trying to have a nap. Like, if I'm cuddling Heather down for a nap. She will kick Heather in the belly, which is kind of funny and cute at the same time. Anyway, I'm going to have to rescue some trains from the stairs. Um, so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.